I am done. After months of you guys telling me I need to make an armor sorter that's nice and compact, I'm telling you guys right now, it's not gonna happen. I will never ever make an armor sorter. And that's what this video is about today. So, welcome back to Bills of Red to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. This is probably one of the most requested videos I have on my channel, so here you go, enjoy. So, this is the armor sorter in its most simplest form. Now, I know you guys are probably not gonna believe this, because before now, this is like an armor sorter. And, yeah, it's pretty big. This is from a raid farm design. And it's pretty massive, but it really is as simple as this. So, this is an armor sorter in its most simplest form, and you're not gonna believe it. It really is just as simple. Anytime an armor stand is either right above, on, or right below this block, right where the dispenser is actually facing to, if the item can actually be dispensed onto the armor stand, it will. And you can see that that sword can be dispensed onto the armor stand, so it is even though it was only crossing a tiny bit when the dispenser was activated. And this is the core concept I'm using over here at the slightly more complex, but really just the exact same thing, version of this sort of right here. And the nice thing about this mechanic is we are able to double it up with the stair mechanic, which means anytime a dispenser fires an item into a stair, it is going to go directly down, and that is going to go directly down into this hopper, down below and into the chest. And that is how we're actually able to sort from items that can be placed onto the armor stands, and items that go below the armor stands into this hopper. And that simply gives us our two trains. And then all you have to do is sit here and simply repeatedly place armor stands, and it will go ahead and go through all your items you have in your dispenser, and items that cannot be, you know, put on armor stand, like the gold block or lapis, that will come down here. But items like the chest plate and sword that can be equipped onto an armor stand, well, that is going to go on the upper track, which, if you just do what I have here and have a water stream go to a trident killer, it will break the armor stands, and all the armor swords and, of course, armor stands all come into this bomb chest. You can see I lost no armor stands when doing this. I also got all my different fishing rods, along with my crossbows, swords, and then anything else that obviously can be equipped to an armor stand. Now, the things that will come into this bottom chest, so that is where this stair, whenever the um, dispenser dispenses an item and it goes directly into the stair, it will go directly down into this hopper, which it will suck up, and that will go into this chest, and this is going to have all your books, all your totems, it's going to have bows, strangely enough, I don't fully understand it, but you know, for some reason, they cannot be dispensed onto an armor stand, take it up with Mojang, and then also in here, we're going to get all our potions, boats, minecarts, saddles, and really anything else that is non-stackable that, of course, cannot be dispensed onto an armor stand. Now, of course, a system of this size cannot come without its faults, and there are things that can break this system. So, with this system, there are really seven things you need to be aware of that they will actually break your system or will break the items themselves. Of course, there are the main ones, the shulker box, shears, and flint and steel. And those, of course, a dispenser is going to be trying to place the shulker box. It's going to be trying to shear the sheep. It's going to be trying to set the nether portal on fire. But there's going to be none of those three options available. And they're just going to end up staying in the dispenser, clogging up your system. And if you have enough of them, end up stopping your system from working completely. The other thing is tridents. If I am to take this trident and to go ahead and put this into this chest, anytime the system gets triggered, you will hear that this trident actually gets dispensed. So, anytime there's a projectile in a dispenser, like a fireball, or arrows, or a trident, the dispenser is going to fire that item. But unlike fireballs and arrows, tridents are not tileable, so they're not something you can actually sort out. So if you have any tridents that go through the system, you're going to need to come and manually pick them up. Otherwise, I mean, there is a chance that you will never see this trident ever again. And then the final item you need to be aware of is buckets. So whether it's an empty bucket, a full bucket of water, lava, or even a bucket of cod, all these different buckets are going to break your system, because, you know, we are dispensing all these items into a stair. So the water is going to work, but, you know, it's just going to place the water, pick it up. Place the water, pick it up. And it's just going to go like that endlessly into a circle. And, you know, it's not really going to sort it or do anything with it. So all these different seven items, you need to make sure you sort out 
or takeout manually ahead of time before putting it into the system, which I have made a sorter for just that. So check out the iCard or links in the description to those sorters that will help you out. Now this basic design is not all there really is to it. For example, whenever you have your items come through, of course, all the items that can be equipped to an armor stand and your armor stands themselves, and then you have all your items that cannot be equipped to an armor stand. Now, the armor stands themselves can actually be separated from these armors using a simple tileable item elevator. So you can see right here, I'm sorting out, sorting out all my um, armor stands from all my other non-stackable items, and by doing this, I'm able to separate all my armor stands from everything else, further sorting out the system. And if you were to simply connect this double chest up to an item elevator, you could have it refeed the ar armor stands right up to your inventory to make it so you that you can AFK on this system forever. Now, a couple other quick notes about this system. I have a lever back here, and this is simply whenever you finish using the system, you're going to have one or two armor stands still be here. If you ever want to clear those up to cause a little less lag, all you have to do is flick the lever sometimes. And using a trident killer, this system does require a trident. We are breaking the arm stands like that. And then we also have this iron bar right here. For example, if you have this in your base, you don't want to have little Jimmy going in there and, you know, somehow dying to this trident killer here. So you can see with this iron bar, no matter how hard I try, I can't get into this space. The area is just simply not big enough. So this is a personal preference move here, but if you have any friends that you're worried, you know, might get stuck in here or might kill themselves, this iron bar is a safe bet to have. Now the only final thing to add is this golden pressure plate. So if you haven't noticed, I have been using a gold or an iron pressure plate, and the reason is they are just so much faster than using any other type. You can see iron is pretty fast, gold is pretty fast, but anytime you use wooden, it's going to slow you down tremendously, and stone is going to do the exact same. So I would just recommend to stick with gold or iron. Just make the system a lot faster. And you know, it's going to make sorting a lot faster too. So yeah, there really isn't too much to it. Like I said, it's a pretty simple build and tutorial for you all today. And if you have any questions or other thoughts about this build or future tutorials, let me know down in the comments. And down there, if there's a red subscribe button, make sure to hit it and like the video. It helps the video out a ton. And there will also be a materialist and world download down there in case that helps you out. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So this entire system is going to be four blocks deep. It's going to be six blocks long and it's going to be a total of four blocks tall. And your floor is going to be two blocks up. And right here is going to be the basic floor where you're going to stand on to place in all your armor stands. So right here on our far right hand side, we're going to place a temporary block here. We're going to have our double chest. A uh, hopper, and we're gonna have one more double chest, and this is gonna be the storage for all our non-stackable items that are waiting for a free time for you to come over here and place in a bunch of armor stands. Next, I'm gonna come right on top of this chest, place a piston, and I'm gonna simply come off to the side, and we're gonna have a dispenser facing out, and then we will have a hopper going directly into that dispenser, and then we're gonna have a temporary block with a stair facing directly down. So next, you're going to grab your piston, and you're gonna have a sideways facing piston there, then we're going to have a block right under here, and this is where we're going to have a bit of redstone dust. That's going to be going directly into a solid block with a redstone torch. Come off the side of that, and we'll have another redstone torch with a solid block right on top of that. Next, all we have left to do is simply place in a bunch more blocks. You're going to want a solid block on top of this piston. This right here is where you're going to have your on-off torch, and this is where you can trigger this bomb piston as many times as you want to finish cutting off all the armor stands because you know the two that are left behind. That's how you clean that up. And then we are going to have two buttons right here. You're simply going to put in a pressure plate here. This should be iron or gold. It doesn't matter which as long as it's one of those two. Otherwise, your system's going to be a lot slower than it should be. Then we are simply going to fill in some blocks around here. And you're going to need a bunch of blocks all the way around this piston because right here is where your trident killer is going to be. I'm going to use glass just so you can see what's happening more. But if you want, you could use solid blocks here. It does not matter. So next, I am going to come over to the side. And I'm going to come two blocks out right here. I'm going to have a double chest. This is going to be for all of our items that cannot be placed on an armor stand. And I'm going to simply come back one block. And then right here is where we're going to have our second chest. And this is going to be where all our items that can be sorted on an armor stand are going to go. So for this first one, it is a very simple process. You simply take a hopper line, 
back three hoppers and that should end right underneath the stair and with the second one it is you guess it the exact same thing so it's going to be another three hoppers right like this and then we're going to come all the way up to the top we're going to throw a trident and this trident needs to be thrown on the outer edge of that hopper and then a water bucket right here and if you place two buttons and a pressure plate right there, then the water should have nowhere to go except right on into that hole. Now, all that's really left to do is for any personal preference, like putting an iron bar here, so you don't accidentally wall walk into the hole. And then all you have to do is, again, sit and hold right click, and that will send all your armor stands in. And you can see your trident killer over here is working perfectly fine, is breaking all the armor stands. And all those armor stands are going into this left chest. And this is where also all your armor is going to be. And any item that goes through this system that cannot be placed on an armor stand will instead get dispensed and get go through this stair, down into this hopper, and down into this hopper line. And this front chest will have all those items, minus all the ones that can potentially break the system. So, you know, make sure you don't have any of these. But that is really all there is to it. So thank you guys for watching this super simple tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, again, hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the video out a ton. But this has been Rock Builder, and I'll see you all in the next one.